A blast of Arctic air swept across most regions in Greece from the beginning of the new year, leading to snowfalls, gale, rainfall and temperature drop. The extreme weather has brought great inconvenience to the locals, like flight delays and traffic disruption. In Thessaloniki, the biggest city in the country's northern part, many flights were delayed or cancelled due to the weather. Late last week, the international airports in the city cancelled five flights and three other flights were forced to land to another airport. In the morning, all the roads were covered with ice, making travel very difficult. I don't know how the government will deal with these issues, but except for the bad weather, the snowfall turns the city very beautiful and worth cheering. The Ministry of Citizen Protection released an announcement calling for a national alert with rescuers standing by to respond to any emergencies. Next, at the Munich airports in Germany, where nature is also taking its toll as 120 flights were delayed due to heavy snow with grounded planes on the tarmac. Thousands of passengers also faced travel disruptions at the end of the school Christmas holidays. My son is uh, uh, going to Dusseldorf and we have to re remark all the flights, you know, stay here until tomorrow. I still don't know. My flight is at 7.35 and I'm waiting for an update. But I'm flying to Rome and the last flight there at 5 o'clock has already been cancelled. So I'm not very optimistic. I am surprised that it's not worse. It was much worse on the motorway from Austria. It was complete chaos. Unbelievable. It's never taken me six hours to get from Innsbruck to Munich. It's the first time in my life. Another flight came in handy for another passenger. I'm lucky my flight seems to be going. With a further 70 flights delayed by an hour or more, personnel also worked hard at the Eisen. Heavy snowfall blanketed swaths of southern Germany on Saturday, with the National Weather Service issuing weather warnings covering much of Bavaria and the neighboring southern state of berlin württemberg And in Thailand, the international airport on the island of Koh Samui has returned to normal on Sunday, the 6th of January, after travel disruption was caused by the tropical storm Pabuk, which battered many southern Thai provinces. The airport was forced to close temporarily for one day after the storm swept the island across on Friday the 4th, leaving large numbers of passengers trapped at the airport on Saturday. However, as the weather turned sunny on Sunday morning, the number of stranded passengers began to drop from about 1,000 down to just a few hundred as the airport resumed normal operations in the afternoon.